Hi, my name is Ting Li, and I'm a key account manager at Blue Water. Today, we're going to show you how to maintain and service our Blue Water water purifiers. Safety is our first priority. Electricity and water can be dangerous if not handled correctly. Before you are going to do anything, please disconnect our products from electricity and water. Let's get some tips from our technical expert, Tai Oke. Hi, Ti. Hi. This video will show you how to change the filter in your Blue Water, Electrolux, Dometic, or other water purifier. Normally, you do not need to move the Pro unit from where it is located. We've just done so to make the filming a little bit easier. To identify the correct filter for your unit, please check the model description on the data label on the back side of the unit. The display on the front of the Pro unit will tell you when the filter needs to be changed. First, you need to remove the door on the front of the unit. Check which filter needs changing. When filter 1 is lit up, you will need to change the sediment filter using the blue water filter on the left. When filter 2 is lit up, you need to replace the carbon filter, the one on the right. Please note though, some models use carbon blocks, which means you always need to change both filters at the same time, regardless of which filter lamp is lit up on the display. Before ordering your new filter, you can easily check what filter you need from the data label. Loosen the filter can still inside the unit, then pull out the slider. Remove the sediment filter and throw away. Ensure the O-ring is placed in its groove in the can before inserting the new filter, which you then screw back into the slider unit. The same process happens with filter 2. Unscrew, throw and replace with a new carbon filter. Push in the slider unit and tighten the filter or filters you've changed until the white marker line is centered between the second line and the third line above it. Now, please replace the door Connect the unit to the water source and plug into the electric socket. After completing this job, please make sure there are no water leakages in the unit. Look at the display. If you've changed filter 1, the sediment filter, it will no longer be lit. If you changed filter 2, the carbon filter, you'll need to reset the filter timer by holding in the calibration button until the filter 2 diode extinguishes in standby mode, which is when the faucet or valve are closed and the Pro is not operational. It's not more difficult than that to keep turning tap water into healthier drinking water. For more information, please visit us at bluewater.se and stay in touch via Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and other social media. Thank you.